Some contractors ignore the drip edge, but a drip edge is critical for a few reasons. Not only does the drip edge provide a finished look from the street, it also helps protect the property in many other ways. The right drip edge helps protect the vulnerable areas from insects entering the space between the deck and the fascia board. Drip edge also protects the deck from wind-driven rain. First, Drip edge improves the efficiency of water shedding at the edges, pushing water away from the building, adding to the protection of the underlying wood. Second, it guards against the movement between the deck and the fascia boards. And finally, it adds a finished look to an asphalt shingled roof. When installing drip edge, you need to understand its requirements and how to install it properly. Now that you understand the function of the drip edge, let's take a look at how to install it. There are four requirements for drip edges. First, the drip edge must be corrosion resistant. Second, the drip edge should be applied directly to the deck along the eaves and then underlayment should be placed over the drip edge. Third, a simple but critical step on the rakes. Drip edges are applied on top of the underlayment to keep wind-driven rain from reaching the deck. Fourth, whether code requires drip edge to be placed over or under the underlayment, drip edges should be nailed as needed to hold it in place. Keep in mind some local codes may require that drip edge be installed over underlayment and cemented at the eaves. If so, remember that local codes have priority. And remember, for drip edge to be durable, it must be 36 gauge or heavier. Aluminum or galvanized material is best.